Oh, it's been a while since I made a video, so I just figured I'd make a new one. You know, share some of my thoughts about what's going on, let everyone know that, you know, I'm okay and everything. And yeah, while well, it's been a crazy couple of months, I actually took down some of my videos that I had up. But, you know, certain things, you know, maybe it's a little bit... Yeah, I know this is like me self-censoring myself and everything, but I guess it's kind of... It's like I'm more aware of certain things now, and I don't want to endanger anyone out there or, you know, my family, my friends, or even myself, even though, you know, I understand that, you know, it's not all fun and games, but, you know, like, there are, these are some high stakes, what's going on right now, you know, but have faith that, you know, the right individuals in the right places that can make a difference, you know, they are aware of what's happening, and they're trying to, you know, you know, keep things from going you know, completely out of control, because that's the last thing anyone should want or hope for, you know, even though, like, the economy, you know, it's been going all crazy like that, you know, like, hoping for, like, all out, like, oh, everything's going to collapse, China's going to take over, no, 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 that's, you know, not what we should be thinking about, you know, right now, like, in all this talk of war, look what's going on in Syria, and with Libya now, like, that might be reaching a climax, but you know how they've been saying, oh, like, Gaddafi, it's time to go since April and everything. Like, oh, it's his time is up. Like, it's time to leave Gaddafi. And now they're saying the same thing about with, uh, Assad in Syria. Like, oh, it's time for Assad to leave, you know, and everything. And even though, you know, what's going on there, that's not right. That's crazy. And then riots in England, too. Like, all this, like, you know, madness. Like, people, like, in a sense, there is that, you know, Beneath everything, there is that undercurrent, like, you know, there is that mass awareness, and it, in certain places, you know, it's, you know, it's making itself known, in a sense, and, you know, that's what I noticed, too, a lot of my friends around me, they are more or less aware now that something, you know, not quite right is going on, you know, so that's what I'm grateful for, and I've been trying to, you know, inform them, and everything, keep them updated on what's going on, and everything, and hopefully, you know, everything's going to be okay, and everything, but, I don't know, it's just been some crazy times recently, and, you know, I heard about what happened, you know, with Dutch Sins, and everything, his friend, you know, that's, you know, that's just messed up, like, you know, and that's some spooky stuff, you know, and everything, and, like, understand that, like, this is not all fun and games. This is not all fun and games, what we're doing, you know. Like, all of us on YouTube, you know, I've had some pretty, you know, crazy experiences within the past few months that, you know, it's changed my perspectives of certain things and everything. But, you know, like I said before, just have hope, you know. And I really do believe that sinister plots have been foiled, you know. Sinister plots have been foiled because what everyone on YouTube, you know, like, we all have our different perspectives. We share what we can from where we are, you know, to try and make a difference, try to keep people more aware. We all have our different spiritual, religious beliefs, you know, how we see the world and everything. But at the same time, you know, like, it's getting to that point where, yeah, you know, like, in the, you know, grand scheme of things, all this religious dogmatic stuff isn't really going to matter you know it's going to come down to you know we got to do what is like you know when it comes to what's right and wrong you know like beyond that it's like I guess just doing what you know needs to happen in a sense and you know it's if you become aware of how this world works or like you know the way communication like you know there are subliminals and strange things out there, and I think it's proof, like, in my opinion, of the collective conscious, you know, the collective mind, you know, it's like, we all have that power to tap into it, and maybe if we can become aware of, you know, certain things, like, you know, we can change it, and, you know, if, like they say, if you put a name on the big bat, like, boogeyman in the room, you know, he ceases to exist, you know, so, like, here, there's some pretty, like, crazy things here. I'll show on my computer and like yeah well 
this one right here, this is my Facebook profile, but yeah, this is from last year, like I'll show you, like around the time I had my awakening, like or when I became more aware, like I was already a little more spiritually aware, like I, I for a time I was, I guess you could say religious, you know, I was going to church, then I kind of fell away from that, and you know, like I guess I got caught up, like for a little while in myself, I guess, or you know, just doing, like you know, what I wanted to do, and that was, you know, like f during that time, like I just started reading a lot of different books, you know, because I wanted to be a writer, you know, like maybe a screenwriter, make movies someday. That's what you know, my dreams were at one time. But then, you know, I like it was around that time when I was reading like all these like it was the James Bond novels in particular and that's what this is about pretty much that whole James Bond connection I actually made a list on YouTube like a favorites playlist that had a lot of different clips from James Bond and real world events that had all meshing together and like you know there was a strange connection between everything but then after I posted that like I don't know things started getting all weird and you know I had to take it down because you know maybe it got too much attention I don't know or something, but it was just weird, like, you know, it's almost as if there is a kind of mutual awareness, and I'll kind of, I'll kind of explain that, but, see, last year, I was reading all these James Bond novels, and, see, where was that, well, this is a strange thing, it, here, it's from, I don't know if you can see this, but, Well, that says October 10th, 2010, 10.52 a.m. I posted this video. It says, Nuclear Reactor Pulse. And I wrote, Let There Be Light. And <laughs> I had just read The Lost Symbol. And I had read these James Bond novels. And I don't know, like, seeing this video and everything, that flash of light, I was like, wow, look at that. Look at what man has been able to achieve. But then, now look at what's gone on with nuclear reactors and Fukushima and all that and at the same time like you know that's around the time when I well I wrote these two notes on Facebook called Stranger Than Fiction because one of them was see, I had read From Russia With Love see, and the strange thing I noticed was how like this was JFK's favorite James Bond novel, and the thing is, it's about a plot to assassinate James Bond, and it's pretty much, like, it's to get him involved in, like, this sex scandal and everything, and then, like, you know, make it a particularly humiliating assassination and everything, and the thing is, in, there's a chapter in here called The Mouth of Marilyn Monroe, and in that chapter, Bond and his ally are like they have to assassinate this one villain that coming out of the mouth of Marilyn Monroe on a flip on this billboard and the way it's described is like the guy's like a worm coming out of the mouth of a corpse and this book came out before Marilyn Monroe or JFK died and everything and that's kind of strange how this was his favorite novel and everything and then look what happened and everything, and this is the thing, last year, the reason why I posted that whole nuclear reactor thing is I was writing an original story, an action adventure, and interesting enough, like, part of it, like, it was supposed to be a trilogy, like, I had a sequence involving, like, a reactor out of control, and that's kind of weird, you know, and everything, and, like, part of the inspiration, this James Bond novel, the first continuation novel by John Gardner, licensed, renewed, and it's about the villain who takes over nuclear reactors and holds the world hostage and like his code name is Warlock and everything and that's kind of crazy how Charlie Sheen recently like he was going on his tour and on like you know Alex Jones and mentions oh Warlock and everything you know that's kind of trippy and then well I read this book just recently Sci Spy and everything and this is kind of trippy because it talks about this book came out in 2007, and they talk about Major Ed Dames and how he was talking about, 
he predicted a comet that was going to blanket the earth in spores and everything, but it also mentions like massive breakdowns in the human immunization system, widespread death from exotic plagues, and nuclear power plant disasters. Nuclear power plant disasters. They specifically mention that. And then at the end, and I just read this book the other week, they talk about like how like they thought there was some sort of ET interference with the uh, missile launches in Russia and the US and right now just yesterday China and Russia had problems with their missile launches so it makes me wonder hmm, what exactly is going on with that and everything and you know this is something that's kinda strange too like when I was going to church, like there was a lot of military personnel there, and at the time, I remember I was with my fiance, and like I don't know, some of the like when I would be with her, like they would make jokes towards me, like oh, like you know your glasses, you look just like Harry Potter, like they would always make jokes like that. A lot of different people would say you look just like Harry Potter, and this is the newest James Bond novel, and it's interesting because like a lot of the like they talk about false flag attacks, there's a train being derailed. And then, see what else, war in Africa, famines and everything, and using food as a weapon, and you know, that goes along with a lot of what they're saying, you know, Agenda 21, and in this one, it's something called Incident 20, and everything that Bond has to foil, but here, this is, like, I found this interesting, they actually put in here, and there'll probably be some young analysts in Harry Potter glasses touting his theory that the Chechen rebels are responsible for that damned volcano in Iceland. Yeah. Like, you know, it's kind of weird, certain things, and, like, here, this is a newspaper, I don't know, like, I had this weird experience in December where, like, I thought, I don't know, there was something weird about the coffee maker, it said thermal, three and what, and everything, and that, you know, that kind of played into my awakening at the time. This was this past December, and then there's a pizza, and well, like, there's that, like, well, someone told me a joke, and I didn't laugh when I heard it, but he said, what's the difference between, you know, a Jew and a pizza, and, like, basically, he said, the pizza doesn't scream when it's in the oven, and, I don't know, it's like weird subliminals, and there's a blind man in the kitchen, and everything, but here, this is where it gets interesting, very, very interesting, because... Clarion, a, sh a shrill, clear tone or sound, and then hit Broadway shows. Hmm, sounds kind of like let's go hit Broadway shows, which we think of like Team America or something. And then Salt, uh, there's that movie Salt, Wall of Fro Wall of Frozen Words, and there's actually a little comic strip. What they were able to make when the role. Of 007 pass from Sean to Roger, more Bond, mm. and then see. Yeah, it's interesting over here. The aquarium. Uh, you know what that means, and everything. It's interesting. All this sort of stuff, but yeah, that happened in December, and this paper just came out. When it was on August 3rd. That was before the. London riots and like there's some interesting things like there was this article from August 3rd British crematorium offers online funerals everything I don't know that's kind of ominous everything and they talk about you know like or I put all these different references you know, and interestingly enough, in Carte Blanche, the villain's plot is called Gehenna, and there's a Millennium episode, Gehenna, about a doomsday cult and everything, like, all these crazy things, you know, and, like I said, if you're aware of the plan, UK Intel cooks up cupcakes in cyber attack, you know, and there's a Bond novel where they talk about a thing called, an operation called Cream Cake, about eliminating, you know, a, defunct agents and everything, I don't know, it's kind of crazy stuff and everything. And then here are the James Bond connections, Bond 17, which would have come out in 1991, like, you know, there's, like, plot involves, like, you know, computer chips and, like, worms and viruses and stuff, 
and there's a sequence where a Chinese nuclear plant melts down and everything. That's kind of crazy. Th this is Bond 17. It would have been the 17th Bond movie starring Timothy Dalton. And then there's the Tomorrow Never Dies script. The original screenplay actually had the villain trying to melt down a nuclear plant in Hong Kong of all places and that's kind of, you know, crazy. And they're using a device called a worm and then you hear stories about stuck nets and everything. You know, this is just kind of crazy and everything. And then here even last year from this November 29th, like I actually posted a link like after reading License Renewed because there are some incidents involving nuclear plants. One in the UK where there is a leak or something. This is last year now. Oh. Talk about UK nukes extension denies stuck in that shutdown. And this was something, you know, last year. This was before I had my awakening, or you know, I became really aware of what's going on. And this is something interesting. This is the James Bond movie Doctor No, the original Bond movie. And there, that's the nuclear reactor and everything, and there is everything. Like, maybe what's going on, like, 
you know, that collective mind, collective unconscious. It's not saying that this, like, you know, maybe it is some sort of secret subliminal plan, or maybe what it really is, is it's that collective mind, you know, like maybe it is something that we all tap into, that infinite consciousness, you know, some people call it God, you know, you can choose to call it God, or some people call it, you know, the infinite universe, you know, or the subconscious, you know, whatever you want to call it, that inner universe, you know, it's like we all tap into the same thing, and maybe it's like we were aware of it or something, because even, like, you know, especially as artists, people want to tell a story or create things. Because even look at Akira Kurosawa, his movie Dreams, he has a segment where a nuclear disaster happens in Japan, and look what happened with Fukushima. Maybe it's like, on some level, like, we're aware. It's like modern day prophecy, you know, modern day, in a sense, mythology. Like, you know, like, one of my friends once said, oh, how come they don't write any more Bible stories, you know? Like, if, like, the Bible is not the Word of God. Maybe, you know, the Word of God, the Word of man, it's both one and the same. It's coming from within. It's like, it's like us trying to remind ourselves what's really going on, you know, and how to, like, you know, stop it. If you know what's scripted or what's prophesied, maybe you can change it, you know. I'm not saying, you know, oh, take all that I showed you as the gospel truth, you know, and everything. Like, you know, the odds of, like, things like this, all this sort of stuff, like, you know, coming together, like, you know, like, you know, I know it's astronomical, but maybe it's confirming something that, you know, like, maybe, you know, there really is something more to this reality, you know, there is something more to it, like, even though, like, you know, it's going to throw a lot of different things at us, at, a, at us, and, you know, like, just don't give up what you're doing, you know, everyone, that I subscribe to, all my friends, and those that subscribe to me, you know, I feel like, you know, a lot of us, we're all, like, you know, we're aware on some level or another of what really is going on, you know, and we all have, like, you know, our own unique perspectives, and, you know, and that's the way it should be, you know, like, each of us is a piece of the puzzle, you know, and, like, you know, we can't give up, you know, don't let them get to you, but at the same time, you know, I understand that, you know, not everything is as it seems, and, there's, there's, you know, the stakes, you know, like, if people only knew, like, exactly, you know, the true nature of all of this, cause, you know, there's certain things that I've perceived that, you know, I don't even want to say, you know, because it's just, you know, it's stuff that, you know, like, people aren't supposed to, like, in a sense, have to, like, listen to that, or see it, or hear it, you know, it's just, like, you know, like, in a sense, there is something spiritual going on, on many levels, like, within, without, like, everywhere, in a sense, and, you know, the key is, like, you know, if you're aware, that means you have a responsibility, you have a responsibility, no matter what happens, you know, like, don't let it get to you, like, you know, don't let it make you go crazy or anything like that, you know, you gotta keep your wits about you, you know, because, like, you know, it's like everyone else, like, who's unaware, they're the ones who are going to need, you know, like, help of some kind, and, you know, it's, like, you know, like, we have to be aware of, like, like, the more aware you are, the better, because that way you can help, like, you know, try and circumvent what may be going on in higher levels, you know, there's many different factions and different power plays going on right now, and it's basically, you know, it's up to us people who know, to make sure that, like, you know, our future, like, is not hijacked from us, you know, and it's not, like, you know, like, it's not a future of, like, you know, a totalitarian fascist dictatorship, something like that, you know, we have to be aware of how this world works, that way, like, you know, like, you know, everyone will be able to have a say in all of this, you know, instead of just a few at the top, you know, but, you know, honestly, like I said, I think some evil plans have been foiled, so, you know, just have faith that, you know, whatever we're doing it is making a difference, and, you know, it might not be easy, but, like, you know, I think, you know, we're going to get there, I guess that's all I got for now, well, take care, remember, love.